Teenagers are your parents' revenge. Remember the way you behaved as a teen? Do you regret it now that you have a teenager in the house? Teenagers can be uh, moody, impulsive, selfish, argumentative. Well, let's just say that most teens really test their parents. Now, what is really going on with teens? How can you and your child and the entire family survive all the angst? Carrie Little from Family and Children's Services is here with the answers. Mm -hmm. Why are teens, why were we all as teens, mm -hmm. so angry? Think about everything that's happening. So you turn 13, all of a sudden you're noticing girls, your friends are acting different, your body is completely changing, your, all your schoolwork has changed and gotten way more rigorous. Mm -hmm. Everybody's expecting you to do things like plan for college and you're like 13. So there's all this pressure to succeed and to achieve. And then you add in all of that together into one big pot and you make a big mess, right? Like right. we're just messed up. <laughs> sure. So, how, so how, do we, how do we guide it down a path without driving us crazy and them crazy? Well, first, just understanding developmental stages can really help. So educate yourself about what your child is going through during this phase. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of things, cognitively, socially, that are going on inside your child that will help you understand why they're so angry. And one of the things that yeah, you can think about, one of the things you can think about is the anger, if your child is angry, anger is a secondary emotion, right? Sure. That means that something happens, you have a specific emotion like fear or embarrassment. Embarrassment's a big one for teens. Uh -huh. Um, they're just confused. They don't know what's going on. They're humiliated. And so anger is how you show that because you don't want to be vulnerable and show that, oh my gosh, you really hurt my feelings or whatever that emotion is. Mm -hmm. You go straight to anger. So if you can teach your child to back it up a little bit, why are you angry? What did you feel first? And talk them through that into some kind of resolution, but then you'll little, make it farther. Carry little. They don't want to talk. <laughs> they don't want to talk. You're right. And so, so how do you get them to talk? So what you say is really pointed things. Like every time you hear angry, you say, what are you feeling? And you make it real short to the point ah. where they, sometimes they're caught off guard, so they'll answer just, you know, like mm -hmm. just spontaneously. And what you'll find is even your facial expressions, your teen is misinterpreting. So when you're concerned about them and you ask that question like, what happened in school today? They're interpreting it, their perception of that question is that you're needling them or yes. you're upset with them. And so if you can get to that and if you can explain, you know, no, I just, I, I honestly I just, just wanted to know, if you repeat those things over and over, those messages will get through. Interesting, because we were, we were all teens. We and, are, we were all teens. Yes, and I, on a personal note, if you don't mind sharing, what happened when you when you were a teen? Were you tough? I was an angry teen. Why were I you was, angry? There were a lot of things going Angry's on. Again, anger is a secondary emotion. It you was. Know that? I, I was fearful, that. and I was I was hurt. My my family split up when I was fifteen. My parents got divorced. That's a tough age. And so age. that was a tough age, and there were a lot of things going on at school. There were a lot of things going on at home, and the way I dealt with all of that was out of anger. And so the way I got through that was my mom not giving up, my dad not giving up, and asking and asking and asking what's going on, and then actually going into some counseling about like what was happening with our family. Because what we know about divorce is that affects you for years. Throughout sure. decades of your life into adulthood, the split up of your home can really affect you. So and, that's and what. As a teenager, happens. it seems like you want to share. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to yeah. people. You want to get that anger out, but you don't know who to talk to or how to talk to somebody. Well, and but you're, that's you're the fighting key. exactly, and you're also fighting against that independence part of that developmental phase as well. You don't necessarily want to go to your parents anymore for everything because you're trying to gain some independence and and grow up and get out of that phase. So if you can give your child some alternatives, also maybe a trusted friend or an aunt mm -hmm. or somebody else that they can go to to explain those feelings and get to the core of that anger. That's also key. But it's important to stay consistent. It Absolutely. sounds like. Yes. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. sharing that yeah. because it's really interesting. For more tips on parenting a teen or for a full list of all the classes and services that they offer at Family and Children's Services, we have it at our, at our website, greatdaygreencountry.com. Got to check it out.